Hello everyone, welcome to Math with Allison. Today we're continuing our series on limits. If you haven't already, make sure to check out some of my previous videos. Click that little I in the I corner, it'll get you there. Otherwise, specifically we're talking about holes in functions and what those look like with limits. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Question of the day, what's a hole in a function? So again, I have an image for us here and it's this little guy right here. So a hole in the function is an x value where the function is not defined. So we cannot plug in that number. It's one of our illegal values. So let's see an example of this. First, we have f of x is equal to x minus 1 over x squared plus x minus 2. So our first step when we're looking for holes is to factor. So the numerator can't be factored out. It's already simplified as it can be. But I'm going to go ahead and factor out that denominator. So this becomes x plus 2, x minus 1. Our second step is to find the holes. Those are the x values or our terms that divide out. So x minus 1 divides out, and so I set that equal to 0. And I add 1 to each side, I get x is equal to 1. And that's our hole. So in step 3 is where we apply the limit. Because we can see as we're approaching 1 from both sides, what our function is doing so we can still fill in that value. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and use our simplified form. I can go ahead and use direct substitution in this case. So I get 1 over 1 plus 2, which is equal to 1 third. So if I write this out all officially, our whole is at 1 comma 1 third. So if we were to look at the graph, the graphing piece is optional. I don't know where it's required and where it's not. But this is so we can visually see it. Here we can see our x value of 1. We have an illegal value. And we have a hole right here, right? So the reason that we have a hole is because even though this simplifies, it simplifies to 1 over x plus 2, it's not our original function. Our original function has an illegal value at x equals 1 because we can't divide by 0. So we have to keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and see another example. Here we have 2x squared plus 2x minus 4 over x squared minus x minus 6. So let's go ahead and factor. I'm going to pull a 2 out of the numerator. And I'm going to go ahead and factor the denominator. So I get x minus 3, x plus 2. Now I'm going to factor the numerator. So in the numerator, I get x plus 2, x minus 1, divided by x minus 3 times x plus 2. This is where we have to pay attention to what divides out. So our x plus 2 term divides out, and I'm left with 2 times x minus 1 over x minus 3. So this tells me where my hole is. I take that term that divides out, and I set it equal to 0. So I get x is equal to negative 2. Now we need to find that corresponding y value. And again, I'm just going to use my more simplified value. So I have the limit as x approaches negative 2 of the original function, and now I can plug in our simplified. So here I can just use direct substitution and plug that in. So I get 2 times negative 2 minus 1 divided by negative 2 minus 3. If I simplify that out, I get 2 times negative 3 over negative 5, which I get positive 6 over 5. And so now we have a hole at x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to 6 over 5. So again, the original function has an illegal value at negative 2 and our simplified version does not. But we always have to pay attention to what the original function is. So if we look at our graph, let's go ahead and make sure we have that right. I have the original function graphed here in blue and then an x value of negative 2. And it looks like that is right about 6 fifths, if I were to guesstimate. Let's see another example. Here we have example 3. f of x is equal to x times e to the x minus 2 times e to the x all over x squared minus 2x. So in the numerator, I'm going to go ahead and pull out an e to the power of x. And I get x minus 2. And in the denominator, I'm going to pull out x. And then I get x minus 2. So paying attention to what terms divide out, I get x minus 2 is equal to 0. And that tells me my, I have a hole at x is equal to 2. I'm going to go ahead and keep simplifying this because it's written as e to the x over x. 
So let's go ahead and plug all of this into the limit. So here I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 2 of the original function, and I'm going to plug in our simplified. And now I can just plug that in using direct substitution. So I get e squared over 2. So this tells us we have a whole at x is equal to 2 and e squared over 2. And let's go ahead and see that in the graph. This one's a bit funky. So this right here is x equals 2. And I guess this is e squared over 2. I don't really know what e squared is off the top of my head. I think it's like 7 point something. But anyhow, that is what we're looking at here. So that is all I have for us today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and comment other videos, topics, problems that you'd like to see done. Thanks for watching.